Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about procrastination and learning. Pro at procrastination. If the things you're supposed to do, if you keep putting them in this basket called I will do it later or some point, that's called procrastinator. And we are all guilty of it. Some do more than the others. I myself am a procrastinator, a proud procrastinator, uh, but I understood exactly how it works and uh, I use it to my advantage. Not all the procrastination is bad. There is a few advantages. Uh, so we're going to look at it. So we're going to look at what the pro procrastination is. Uh, why does it happen? Uh, what types of procrastinator exist in the world and, and how they behave and um, how to remedy it. So how to use this information to our advantage so we can be become a better learner. Uh, and ultimately, we want to go from procrastinator to no procrastinator. Uh, if you can do that, that would be great. And I will share uh, some of my personal experience. So welcome to Texas Tutorials. All right, so let's look at the definition of procrastination. Uh, to put it off till another day or defer or delay. In definition is basically, you know, if you're supposed to do something and you delay it, okay? But in general view, Basically, what it means is, let's say if you're given a homework and there's a deadline, if you do it last minute, like night before, that's your procrastination right there. And the consequences could be if you don't do it, you know, teacher can basically embarrass you in front of a class. Uh, let's say if you have a, a project at work and you wait till last minute and if you don't do it, you will have consequences of, you know, you can get fired or demoted and all that stuff, right? But the worst one is this. Um, if your wife told you to fix a light bulb in the room and uh, if you don't do it, the, the, the consequences of that could be kind of dire. So I'm not even going to go into it, but you got my point. If you procrastinate, these are the results. And what is the opposite of procrastination? Opposite of procrastination is basically to plan properly. Uh, as soon as you get your work, you basically say, okay, you know, I'm going to finish it. Either I start right away or either uh, or I plan so I can finish it way before the deadline. Okay. Yes, it is possible to do that. It's really hard to believe, but it is possible to finish stuff way before. But when it comes to procrastination, uh, there are different areas um, where people procrastinate. For example, uh, people can be really... Um, quick to finish things in one area of their life. However, they can procrastinate on the other areas of their life. So for example, I've seen people with a really messy desk. I'm sure you have seen it as well. Uh, but if you look at their work, it's pretty clean, and which is a no brainer. We procrastinate because there's something that we want to do. And then there are something that we don't want to do. Okay, so the things we want to do, we enjoy. The things that are important to us, we usually finish faster. And things that are seems obligatory, or I wouldn't say dislike, but more like uh, uh, something you feel like, okay, yeah, it can be done. Don't worry about it, right? Uh, that we just keep putting off. Uh, let's look at the different type of procrastinator. Uh, the first type of procrastinator, I call them no procrastinator because they plan ahead. They plan ahead and as I said, they would basically always, no matter what they do, pretty much all area. There might be some area where they procrastinate, but pretty much all other areas, they would, they are proactive, they, they finish always before the deadline. And I've seen those people and they're very successful. And one of the key thing uh, is that they are multitasker, which means uh, if they are given two tasks, uh, maybe one is a fun task and one is not so fun task, they will perform equally in both tasks. The second kind of people. Uh, now, these people are in the majority. They are the procrastinators. When it comes to fun, they usually finish fast. Do you enjoy it? But when it comes to work, they, they procrastinate, but they get the job done. That's the most important thing. Uh, most of the time they get the job done and I'm one of them and most of the people are uh, in this class of category. 
so they start very late and they wait and wait and wait and then somehow magically in the right at the end they pull it off now look let's look at the the third type and this third type is basically runs out every one of them they are the master procrastinator uh, which means they are so expert in this business of procrastinating they don't get the done okay they get nothing done uh, the deadlines come and pass them they'll say they'll do it today tomorrow nothing gets done i'm sure you have met some of these people and you know eventually they blame other people for their shortcomings and somehow they survive okay because everybody ultimately survives somehow they figure out how to survive all right so now let's look at uh, what ticks each of this three kind of people and what is some special about it the first kind the no procrastinator uh, they are multitasker somehow they have energy to do the things that they, they do all the time um, I guess they're just born that way just innate ability to do things the way it is and it's it's awesome it's great the second types are the most interesting but they are mindful they are mindful of the deadline they know what they needed to need to do um, they know the deadline is approaching and there is a little guy in their head says hey do you chill just you know um, no, no need to panic yet you know the deadline is you know five days away I know you can do this in two days and there's three, three days more so you can just chill and do some other stuff right three days pass and then the deadline approaches and then they know that now it's time to kick in this gear and this little guy just goes in a hyper mode it's like you, you drop everything and then you focus the closer deadline grows their mind goes into the supersonic mode they get annoyed by anything that is obstruct them because now if they lose time um, they would pay the price because they know that they they don't have enough time so they just go super uh, focus and somehow magically they get things done right at the end of time and we don't have to think too much about the third kind because they are what they are and this is how it's going to be okay so the difference between the first type and the two types is that the energy in the first kind the no procrastinator is always high uh, and it, it it stays that way throughout the time but the procrastinator the energy is low uh, to finish the task there might be energy high for other stuff but you know for the task they are low energy and then suddenly as the deadline approaches they start going the hyper mode and they would cross the energy level of the no-crasters because uh, most of the no craster won't go in that energy zone because they have to if everything is important nothing is important um, but for procrastinator this one thing is becoming important as the deadline approaches so that is in a way advantage um, to to achieve that hyper zone and if you can achieve that energy and sustain it for a long time or at least you try to achieve it simulate it I think that would be a great achievement all right so now let's look at in terms of learning how does all three kinds of people ability to learn affects them because when it comes to learning something new what really happens that you have to make the plans um, when it comes to homework the teacher gives you homework so there is a deadline set by teacher and so you're driven by that deadlines but when it comes to learn some learn something new who has to make that uh, that that deadline say okay i'm gonna learn this new thing called javascript or something okay so the first kind of the no crashers they can cruise at learning because no matter what it is uh, they are used to making plans and finishing it so they are very successful at learning new things now here is a, the second uh, kind of people the procrastinator they will have the hardest time learning uh, that is because when you try to learn something new because there is no, no deadline there is no risk remember uh, why do they go to this hyper active mode it's because they re recognize the risk the risk is higher right if you don't submit the homework there will be consequences the teacher would embarrass you okay or you 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 you'll be scolded by your parents or by your manager or your wife whatever right uh, 
the risk is higher. So that's why you go in this hyper mode. But when you try to learn something new, there is no risk. Well, you can learn something tomorrow and then tomorrow and tomorrow. In that sense, they are becoming like um, the third kind, the master craster. Because what well, the remedy is, uh, you need to create a risk for yourself. Because remember, you are driven by risk, right? And if there is no risk, no drive. So you need to create risk that would create the drive. There was a time in my life and I was, I was kind of feeling that, you know, I was feel comfortable, but then it was edge of, you know, someone could fire me because I don't know a lot of things, right? And one of the advice I got was, even though you don't know a lot of things, just go and out and interview, you know, give an interview, even if you don't know. Um, and I did, and I embarrassed myself because if you don't know anything, and if you if you go out uh, and interview, and they will ask you question after question, and then you can't answer it, it's embarrassing. The risks go higher. You, in, in your brain, there's a this thing that says, um, you know, really, you don't know anything. What's going to happen to you? And you know, there all kind of stuff uh, start kicking in, and that would motivate you. I think failure is the biggest motivator. So you have to, you have to fail and go for companies that are like uh, out of your reach. Uh, go for a Google interview or, you know, uh, startups where they just take the energy out of you. Okay. And that would create this hyper mode where you're just like, I got to learn this. I got to, I got to go home and start a plan. Okay. And sustain that plan. Okay. How do you sustain it? Yeah. Just keep interviewing. Then once it becomes a habit, it becomes a natural for you to learn and you'll be able to finish it. But that hyper mode is pretty important. That will give you focus like no other. And the, that's the trick about procrastinators that it needs that drive. If the drive is not there, they're not gonna learn. So for example, if you, if you get a Udemy course, right? Uh, you think, okay, I wanna learn something, right? You, you take a Udemy course, you start, and then you know a few days later, you just, because you paid, you just start. But then a few days later, that energy goes and you procrastinate, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. And then you know, a few months later, you realize, oh, I, I purchased that course. What did I do? Nothing, you know? And that happens to a lot of people because it's cheap, you buy it, and then you kind of forget about it. Personally for me, uh, if I don't release it like for a week or so, and then the hit starts to go down, I go in a panic mode and I just say, oh, my hits are going down. So I start making more videos, okay? And the videos, videos I make then are a little bit better because then I think about it. It's, hey, what did I do wrong? Uh, I need to do something new. And, you know, ultimately it produces results. So that is my motivator. You know, so you need to find your motivator. Maybe you can, you, maybe you can find a friend who kind of behaves like a, a manager, okay? It's a crazy idea, but it can work. Uh, you can say, hey, you know what? Remind me every day that I need to do this, okay? Uh, scold me if you, if, you, if you have to, but, you know, remind me that I need to do this, whichever that may be, okay? Uh, whichever you're trying to learn, just, just tell him. And you do the same thing for him or somebody else, right? And that's how you can motivate each other. I think you need to find what motivates you and what puts you in that hyperdrive. All right, so it's now it's your time to do something. Now comment uh, me about what motivates you, okay? Um, or what's not working for you, or where you are stuck, okay? Maybe I can find a way. Maybe you can show me a way, a new way that um, um, that I haven't thought about. Uh, and do not procrastinate. Uh, stop the video and comment me right now. And by the way, I have uh, other videos on learning. Uh, because I'm trying to make this learning a focus on my channel. Uh, so I have four or five videos on it. I'll provide a link here so you can check those out. And that might help you. And I hope you learned something from this uh, video. And if you did, please like. Don't forget to like. Subscribe and provide a nice comment. And thank you.